Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you three ways that you can really make the colors in your photos pop. Now before I do, I always like to connect with you guys, so let me know that you're watching. Leave a comment below telling me where you're watching from or what kind of photography you love the most. I always love to connect with you guys. But now, let's get started. So the first way that you can make colors pop in your photos is really, really simple. If you come down to the bottom to the adjustment layers where there's this half black, half white circle, and you select Vibrance, you can easily pull out the muted colors in your photo. Now let me show you. When we use the Vibrance slider and move it over to the right, you're gonna see that Photoshop finds the colors that aren't as vibrant or saturated and pulls them out. Now, the farther you bring it over, the more vibrant those colors are gonna be. And you can see the difference between vibrance and saturation is if I moved the saturation slider over, well, that's gonna make all of my colors pop out, even the ones that were already vibrant to begin with. So you can see that's very vibrant, very saturated, and not usually what you want to see in your photos. So the first way to get the colors to pop, just use that vibrant sl slider and, and move it over to the right. Again, there's no magic number here that you want to slide it to, just what works best for you. Now, the second thing that you can do to really get your colors to pop is you can create a new layer. So I'm going to turn that vibrance layer off just so you can see the difference of this technique. Now again, I'm going to go down to this half black, half white, uh, create a new adjustment layer, and this time I'm just going to pick levels. Now from here, I'm not going to do anything up here. I'm actually going to change the blending mode. So we're going to change it from normal to soft light. Now, when I do that, that makes everything a little more contrasty and bold. So you can see if I turn that off or on, there's a definite pop that comes out in the colors. But the thing about this technique that I don't always love is that it also affects my subject. Not too big of a deal. You can always just click on this layer mask that's right here in the levels adjustment layer. So you can see that's highlighted right there. I'm going to grab my brush, make sure it's set to black, and make sure it's soft. And the softness is right up here. So you'll see if I click right up here in this area and make sure my hardness is set to zero, that will give you the soft brush. And then you can just brush that soft light layer off of your subject, creating less of that color pop there. Okay. Again, if it's too much there, just adjust the opacity right here. To where you like it to be. So that's the second way that you can get colors to pop. Now the third way I really like because you can target specific colors. So I'm going to turn this levels layer off right here just so you can see the difference in this third technique. Now what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to pick selective color. So let's pick that one right there. Now with selective color, like I said, you can target the exact color you want to really pop. So in this image right here, I'm seeing a lot of magenta, a lot of pinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where it says colors and I'm going to drop down my color choices and choose magenta. Now from here, I'm going to pick the sliders that are really going to pull out more of those magentas. So obviously the magenta slider, right? So let's take that one and we're going to move that to the right. I'm going to move it all the way over to the right so you can really see the magentas in the photo starting to pop. Now magenta also has a little bit of reds in it. So with the magenta still selected, I'm going to add reds into those colors too. Now you don't see red on any of these sliders and it's because red is actually the opposite of cyan. So we see this cyan slider here. So what I'm going to do here is take the cyan slider and move it to the left, the opposite. Okay. So I'm going to add a little more red to the magentas to really make those pop. Now you see it didn't affect her or the other colors in the image. Now if I wanted to do a separate color, I could either do that right on this selective color layer here, or I could create a new one and choose a different color to pop out. 
For right now, I'm just going to use this same selective color layer, but this time I want to affect those blues and the scions because there's a lot of that in this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down and change that to cyan. I'm going to add in extra cyan, so all the way, and you can see that change there. And then I also want to add blue into the cyan too. Again, we don't see blue on any of these sliders, and that's because the opposite of yellow is blue. So we're going to take this yellow slider and bring it to the left to bring in more blues. So let's take a look. There it was before, and there it is after. And we targeted those two colors. And you could go through and we could target the greens, we could target the yellows, we could target whatever color we wanted to to make that one specific color pop. And you know, the cool thing about this, you guys, is that you can stack these techniques too. So if I wanted to turn on every single one, let's see how color popping that looks. And that really brings out a lot of colors. It might be a little too much for me, but maybe for the photo you're working on, it's exactly what you're looking for. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys give this a try, if you're part of my Facebook group, I would love for you to post your images and how you popped colors. Or if you're over on Instagram, make sure to tag or mention me. My handle is at Cozy Clicks so I can see the things you guys are creating. I really do love to see what you come up with with these tutorials. So I hope that helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the Cozy Clicks YouTube channel, I would love if you would do that too. I'll see you next time, guys.